Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video and your daily update on Jasmine. All right, we'll do a full update. We got some uh, nice bullish momentum in the last, uh, well, what is it? In, in the last, uh, well, basically since yesterday evening, um, after Bitcoin had fallen a bit, you can see Bitcoin, Bitcoin took, the, took the fall and then recovered or at least found support. And some cryptos reacted very, very well to that, Jasmine being one of them. Uh, so we broke out, or at least we reached the, the price target we talked about yesterday, uh, which if you watched my video yesterday, you would have expected this continuation after I was wrong uh, uh, down here the, on, the, on Thursday. Um, but right now, the, the, the same question kind of applies as yesterday, all right? We're bullish, purely technically. If you look at Jasmine right now, we are bullish, all right? And there's also some sort of a fundamental push behind it. Uh, with everything that's happening with uh, with, with Apple in, in Japan and all the speculation of, of Jasmine's role in that. Uh, so that's great because you what, what, one of the greatest things to have um, is, is actual fundamental news and, and, and an actual catalyst behind the price. And then, like I said, we broke above like, like these gray areas you see are historical price areas, all right? Or at least historical key areas. So you can also see them here on the chart. Uh, from the last time we were we, we were at these levels which is uh, over two years ago uh, so congratulations to everybody that bought jasmine in the last couple of months i know quite a few of the uh, I, I know quite a few to, quite a few of you did so uh congratulations but now the main question obviously is is can we actually continue this and i think the short answer to this is yes all right because so far we gone we've gone up to 3.7 cents here that's the current local local resistance uh, but we still have, like, right now we have major support right here, basically between 3.5 cents all the way down to 3.3 cents. So purely technically, as long as we're above those levels, technically we're still bullish. Um, and then if you if, if you look at the price, if you look at the momentum, there, there's nothing really that, that, that I that I can see that's that's bearish, right? Maybe if you look at this, so there's a there's a bit of a divergence here between the RSI and the price. Um, that could be seen as some sort of a bearish confirmation, but then at the same point of time, the momentum is still going up. Every time we, we get big momentum gains, the CVD is, is super positive. So that means that most of the most of the positions being opened are long positions. So even though there is that divergence, I, I think it doesn't matter that much if you consider the, the, the news, the fundamentals. Uh, in combination with what we're actually seeing on the fields, and that is that new positions are still constantly being opened uh, up until basically like three hours ago. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm still bullish on Jasmine until I, I see any reason not to be. And any reason not to be <clears throat> would either be some sort, of a, some sort of news that kind of goes against the news we've gotten. So if we hear that Jasmine actually had nothing to do with what Apple's doing in, in Japan, etc., and, and the integrations, then that's bearish. Then we lose the fundamental catalyst, and then all of a sudden that divergence might matter. Um, so that's a possibility. Then we could drop down below our main support level, which is 3.3 cents, and we could turn bearish. But at this moment, I, I don't see that. At this moment, I think it's more likely that we will drop down to 3.3, maybe even lower towards 3.2, uh, but that we will be able to hold that level and that we will be able to co uh, continue up to 3.9 and 4 cents, which is still my, my number one price target. So that's what I think is most likely. In general, I, I do think like at these levels, I'm not sure on the short term it's wise to trade Jasmine. So I would be careful. Personally, I will not trade it. Um, and like I said, you really have to keep your eyes on that news because the news is one of the main things, apart from real positive price action, uh, but the news is one of the main things that's actually holding the price up. So if that falls away, the, the entire situation changes. For now, the situation as a whole, technically and fundamentally, is still bullish. Um, I think at least. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. Something like this is what I expect. Consolidation might take a bit longer than this though, but still. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.